right, so um, kind of going with that hashtag Q&A, uh, this was over two different videos. So Tim Ellington had mentioned something about the importance of the Senior Bowl, kind of wanted to understand, you know, the importance of the Senior Bowl. Why do you really have it? Are the Bills really there to do anything? Is like, what, what are they there for, right? Um, and then Daniel Gallery's had mentioned on uh, another video, it said, uh, regarding the draft, keep an eye on the Senior Bowl. Last year, they drafted plenty of guys from the 2018 Senior Bowl. You had Josh Allen, Harrison Phillips, Teron Johnson, Wyatt Teller, uh, Lee Wallace, and Siren Neal. From the 2017 Senior Bowl, you had Deion Dawkins, Zay Jones, and uh, Connor McDermott all played in the Senior Bowl. Um, so there's a trend there. That's a lot of players from the Senior Bowl. So the Senior Bowl isn't always loaded with seniors, right? Like, there's some guys who have that extra year of eligibility, like the quarterback from UB. He had an extra year of eligibility, so he gets to play in the Senior Bowl, even though he's technically declaring early, mm -hmm. right? He's declaring out of his fourth year, even though he's already graduated college. Yeah. Um, Chris Winkie did that? Was that Chris Winkie was a grad student? Well, he was 47 years old. <laughs> If you want to see two guys eating in a car, click that subscribe button. The importance of the Senior Bowl, Mark. What, like, what do you think it is? Um, and you know, give me your take on on the Senior Bowl. I think it's a way for teams to get an extra combine. With these guys. Because they're, they're there, they're running various drills. Uh, as far as the coaching staff goes, I can't remember who's coaching the Senior Bowl this year. Um, but if you go through the archives of a lot of these teams that pick up players that are being successful um, in within their system, they get these guys at the Senior Bowl because they've seen them. They've seen yeah. what they could do. They've talked with them. They're, they're able to interview them. They're able to get some one-on-one -on -one time with some of these players prior to the combine. So you can determine what's this guy's skill set, how is he off the field, what's his mindset, uh, do the, the, the things that he, he's done since the end of the season, which was nearly a month ago, how does that translate to now? Is he, is he, is he fresh? Okay, that's number one. Is he, is he you know, <clears throat> were they, did he have an injury at the end of the year? Is he healed now? Is he, that's, not, that's number two. You know what I mean? You can say stuff like that. So you could say, how the, how's the guy's mindset? So if a guy finishes the season as like a top-ranked tackle and then he comes to the senior bowl and he's 15 pounds heavier, you know oh, whoa, one red flag right there. You know what I mean? So as far as the senior bowl goes, they're able to run drills. They're able to go through the, uh, you know, they're able to play against other seniors and test their mettle and see what's going on. And you're able to interview these guys. And I think that's huge. I think it's really huge because... Like you said, 70% of the underclassmen got drafted. However, I think it was like 70 out of 256 were underclassmen in the draft. So a lot of these guys come that are they are seniors. Uh -huh. So evaluating the best of the best that get drafted is important. I think it's important to remember the intent of the senior bowl, right? It's like a pro bowl. However, these guys are coming in and they're working with pro coaches right mm -hmm. and everything they know doesn't matter anymore because these pro coaches aren't coming in saying okay let me run an air raid because i know that's what you're familiar with these guys are coming from all different systems yeah so it's an opportunity for them to get in and have to learn something right now you get a week to learn it let's go and let's not forget this the combine is fun but it's one on none mm -hmm. you're not going against anybody else mm -hmm. it's one on none so the Senior Bowl and that week of practice is really an opportunity for teams to sit, watch these guys a little bit more in their football element. But remember, that Senior Bowl is going to be like their first week at training camp because they're going back and they have to hit the reset button. They don't know anything. Yeah. They, they, have no, they have no frame of reference on anything that's going on. They have to learn all this stuff right now. And you can see the guys who are taking it seriously, the guys who aren't taking it seriously. I think it frames those interviews a lot more. And honestly, I think the interviews are critical to the Bills. Like, that is something that we don't hear about, but that it, they they are high on character. That is a critical component to who the Bills are when yeah. it comes to, you know, the character that they want to build inside that locker room. And that's one thing that we can't tell you about. I don't, I don't, 
I can only well, tell you the stories that I well, hear about I mean, these the, guys. And that's all speculation. The thing that was huge about it for last year is the reason, like you talk, you talk about a kid named, like Josh Allen mm-hmm. for last year. All right, what was the big knock? The knock was his accuracy. Mm-hmm. We understand that. But like the other big knock was he didn't play with anybody. Right. He didn't have any talent around him. Right. Which is was okay. You put him in the Senior Bowl. What happened? Mm-hmm. He played well. Yeah. He he when he has people that are of equal um, athleticism and stature of him, he can play pretty well. That's what they noticed. Another thing is you could find a gem in the third or fourth round. Let's say there's a guy who's ranked out as a first round defensive end, and you got this tackle that's from Directional University that's at, at the Senior Bowl because he's a senior and he's just. He's there. He got invited, and he ends up owning him in the one-on-one drills. Right. We're like, whoa! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy is projected to go to our division rival mm-hmm. as a defensive end. We may want to hang on to this guy. Right. All right. So that's one. That's another reason why it's so big because these guys get a chance to shine and prove that hey, you're rating him as number one. Well, you know what? I think I'm as, I'm as good as him. And it also gives you a chance to see because you're not at practice every day mm-hmm. when these guys during the season. How do they carry themselves off the field? Right. You know, does the guy, you know, does the guy walk off the field, throw his helmet, and sit down and, you know, just chill? Right. Or is he involved? Like, we said it last year as well, Baker Mayfield. Mm-hmm. He had the book mailed to him mm-hmm. and was reading the, the playbook, came in and, no. you know, took over, controlled the offense, and did all that other stuff. That's just who he is. Right. Like, uh, but that, that, that's what tells you about the thing. Like, like you said, though. We don't know what they're talking about. What oh, gotcha. questions they're asking them, who they're talking to, and all this other stuff. We, we don't, we don't have that kind of access. I'm just telling you from an outside perspective: is you get a chance to see these guys go up against who they're going to be going up against on Sundays. There's so many different working parts about the Senior Bowl. I like anytime you can evaluate talent prior to making a commitment to that talent. I think it's huge. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's and I the reason I enjoy the senior bowl is again you're removing these guys from everything that they know and you're giving them NFL based concepts, right? Mm. And they have no time to learn them and they have to execute them. <laughs> and they're thrown in there with a bunch of different guys. So guys on the line, it really is they're, they're not playing cohesively. No. They're not. They can't. They're it's, they're guys from all over the country. So the defense will initially shine in that yeah. respect. Because it's easier to play defense than offense. But you also get to see all these guys because when you're in a senior bowl and when you have it, you're not running zone concepts. You're running, okay, corners, you're just playing man. Here you go. Mm-hmm. This is this is when you pass off to the This is when you're going to get help in this coverage. But for the most part, defensive ends, go get the quarterback. Singled up, linebackers, don't blow your coverages. Corners, play man on man. So I got a and, question for you. Yeah. If I if I'm a player and I don't have any serious injury concerns, yeah, is it is it more detrimental to my draft stock if I opt out of the combine or the senior bowl? Um, Fair point to make because hey, I didn't get a chance to talk to you at the senior bowl. I didn't get it. All I have is now that you're only relegated to the tape of the season. When you saw this kid on tape, or you, you sent the scouts out. You have to rely on that report and everything. Which, which do you think hurts them more? Sitting out the Senior Bowl. Because it's a week. It's a battle test combine? for a week. Isn't it? Yeah, the com- yeah, the combine is a week, but you're only, like you're doing lifting one day, and then you're doing agility drills. You're doing interviews, sure, but I mean, it's not in the football environment. Literally. Like, see, not important at all. Literally has no bearing on anything in this universe. Doesn't wonder like wonder like it's useless. Mario, I know we've had this talk before. I feel like I have to call MTV for an intervention because yeah. the wonder like yeah. literally means nothing to anybody but you. I'm just gonna I'm gonna harken over to our road trips episode that you catch on our other channel about the overtime rules. They do the coin flip because that's what they do. They do the Wonderlic because that's what they do. No. Wonderlic is irrelevant. We're, no, now, now we're going to waste time on this. Frank Gordon, 
Frank Gore did like a what? He runs the ball. It's different. Frank Gore takes souls with his helmet. Listen, I, I, listen, I told you this multiple times. <laughs> takes souls. I told you this multiple times. The wonder lake for a quarterback is extremely important, not for how high he scores, but for how low he scores. If you have a quarterback who's under a 20 wonder lake, a red flag should go up of how fast this guy processes information. <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, uh, senior Bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, see, I, again, I think teams take the... Um, because the combine, they're, they're out of football element. They're just doing drills. They, it's just not the same. I, I think teams probably put more stock into the Senior Bowl because it's as close to the real thing as they can get. Before, they but I think get you get more. I think you get more one-on-one time. Oh, I agree. The at the scout, yeah, at the scout and combine, absolutely. I 100% agree there. But um, I think you can judge a lot by what's happening at the Senior Bowl. You know, what's going on with these kids after practice? What's going on with them before practice? Are they lounging around, or are these kids, you know, back in the room? What are they doing? Like, how are they behaving? I think you can learn a lot from the Senior Bowl. The senior Bowl, I think, uh, is a major is a major part of the draft process like not because it makes things easy for teams I mean yes it does because they drop a bunch of talent into one area at one time and you get to see that talent go against each other I mean it's just in theory is going to make an NFL team's life easier but I don't think anything is based solely off the senior bowl it is possible that they see somebody shine at the senior bowl and then say whoa we got to go back and we got to go back and look at this again or they see yeah. Greg Robinson at the Senior Bowl, and they say, "Oh man, this! What did we see on tape that was so good?" Available tackle, by the way. Greg Robinson. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. I would. I know you would. I don't know why. Why would you want Greg Robinson? Because you put him on the guard. Just stick your arms out. It'll be fine. <laughs> He's a monster among men. Make him a fullback. No. We're already getting rid of one of those. 